Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. We've got lots of sunshine so far now into the early afternoon. We take a live look from our Harrisburg Sky Cam and you see the blue sky and a little bit in the way of some clouds there along the horizon. Temperatures not bad, 57 degrees and uh, mainly just a light breeze out of the southeast at this time. So not much of a chill in the air at this hour in the uh, 50s, pretty much everywhere here across the Susquehanna Valley, closing in on the lower 60s around Coatesville right now. And everybody should be heading into the 60s as we head into this afternoon. Mid 60s looks like a pretty good bed for us with partly sunny skies, but the reason for the warm up is a cold front that's marching its way towards us and that front may try to bring a couple of showers in late as we head into the evening hours. And if we're going to see that, though, it looks mainly like our northwestern counties. I think if you're north and west of Harrisburg, that's where you have that chance of a shower late this evening. South and east of there, you should be staying dry here as we go through the rest of today and even most of tonight as well. Any shower activity we have should be in our northern counties, but everybody turns mostly cloudy, though, as that front gets closer to us. It never really goes through. It kind of stalls out to our west, but it is close enough to bring that shower chance. Now through the day tomorrow, the front actually backs off a little bit. It goes farther west and we're going to get even warmer air moving in near 70 for that high temperature with a mix of clouds and sunshine as we head throughout the day and the first day of November will be starting off on a pretty warm note. Actually not too bad, pretty comfortable feeling out there. So here's our cold front that's uh, somewhat weak as it makes its way across the Ohio Valley and it is slowing down. It's not really moving all that much, but it could get close enough to us later on today that uh, brushes our northwestern county with that shower chance. So here we go in predictor into this evening. Here are a couple of those showers again, mainly north and west of Harrisburg. If you're south and east of there for trick or treating going on, all the kids headed out this evening. I don't think you'll have uh, too much in the way of problems there. Now, as we head into the overnight hours, could be that spotty shower if we're going to see that more likely in our northern counties closer to that front, and then that'll take us throughout the day tomorrow. And again, like I said, that front kind of backs off. It lifts back to the north and west as a warm front. Even warmer air surges into the Susquehanna Valley, but it all comes to an and it looks like as we head into the later parts of this coming week, and that's because this front finally starts to work its way through. The timing on that appears to be somewhere in the ballpark of later Friday afternoon into Friday evening and then into uh, Saturday morning as well, and there could be some heavier rain associated with that later on Friday and as we head into the early hours on Saturday morning. So that's something we're watching for here as we head into the weekend itself. But we will be seeing a warm up from today into tomorrow near 70 for that high tomorrow. And then the shower chances start to return for your Friday forecast. And again, that rain could turn a little bit heavier for us. Depends on where that front is later in the evening on Friday into Saturday, but still some rain around for Saturday morning. And then I think we clear out for Sunday. And don't forget, we fall back Saturday night into Sunday. You'll get an extra hour of sleep, but the sun will set an hour earlier and then more shower chances. It looks like like early into next week. So that time of the year, but November 1st is what tomorrow and we're going to be seeing some pretty warm weather near 70 about for that. that. All How right. about it? Yeah. Okay, well, at least you don't have to cover up the costume. That's kind of what right? I was thinking for the kids. It's almost perfect. Yeah. Hopefully the rain can stay off to the north and west until later on tonight. All right. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>